Amadeus Symphonic Orchestra is a collection of sampled instruments that have been created by well-known developers. These sounds have proven themselves in music productions and media scores already, so you can be sure that they'll stand up well in a final mix, even though it's a very lightweight library at under 13 gigabytes. It makes a great mock-up orchestra when you're using your favorite DAW or a notation program such as Overture 5, but it's also at home in the studios of people who, like myself, play parts in by hand. Amadeus is designed to get you composing quickly. Almost everything is right here in one simple layout, so there's no need to go searching for hidden functions. Just load an instrument, in this case Violins 1, and you'll see that the articulations are all in the center panel. These can be selected by key switches as well, and you can change the key switch assignments. These buttons let you move the key switches around so they can be below or above the playing area. On the left there are simple controls for attack time, release time, and this one in the middle controls how the attack time responds to key velocity. On the right are performance controls. Here you can adjust how MIDI controllers or key velocity affect the volume. Here you can set whatever continuous controller you'd like. Some instruments have control over vibrato. In this case we're talking about a string section, so you can choose between the vibrato samples or click this button and you can crossfade between the non-vibrato and vibrato layers. Now I automatically set this to mod wheel control, which makes it easy to create expressive lines quickly. Amadeus uses a scripted legato, which helps to create smooth, connected lines. There are some controls available to tweak the legato, if you like. I'm going to load in the solo viola, where you can really hear the legato effect. The lower panel is reserved for effects, and we have a simple EQ, ambience, or reverb, and low and high pass filters, which makes it easy to roll off highs or lows. There are five reverb impulse responses to choose from. Well, that's it for controls. Now let's listen to some more of the orchestra. Here's the full string section. Again, I'm going to set the mod wheel to control vibrato as well as volume. Okay, let's look at the brass. The French horns.
You can play the dynamic layers with key velocity or with the mod wheel crossfading between layers. Trumpets. Trombones. Tubas. And there's a full brass ensemble. We have some solo brass. Here's the French horn. The trumpet. Trombone. Okay, woodwinds. We have both solo and ensembles. Here's the flute. Oboe. English horn. Clarinet. Bassoon. Contrabassoon. Let's take a look in the percussion folder. Here's the bass drum. Snare drum. Timpani. The timpani notes are doubled two octaves apart, which makes it easy to play fast repeating notes. And we have Tycho drums. And there are the usual mallets and cymbals. We've included an incredible sounding choir. I'll play the full choir, but they're also provided in sections.
There's a little surprise in here. Our solo soprano. She was created especially for Amadeus. I like the legato on here. Now, if that wasn't enough, we have a great sounding grand piano. We've included some guitars. Here's a nylon string guitar. I don't know about you, but for me, there are not many musical problems that a good power chord can't fix. So we've included electric guitars. Next, let's look at the harp. It includes both sustained and damped settings. These switches mimic the function of actual harp pedals. Harp strings are arranged in a diatonic scale, so they're like the white keys on a piano. The harpist will use the pedals to change keys. Same thing here. If I select the key of E, now all the white keys play an E major scale, which makes it easy to play at gliss in any key using only the white keys. Symphony is a complete orchestra under your fingertips. different presets. major and minor chords, well thank you for taking the time to check out Amadeus Symphonic Orchestra.